Here we're asked to solve the equation 400 equals 95 times 0 0.89 raised to the x power. And the method that we're going to use is the graphing method. We're going to round our final answer to two decimals. I'm going to encourage you, before you jump right to your graphing calculator, to draw a rough sketch of the graph and indicate where the intersections should be, and that will help you to decide the values for your window. So I'm going to start with a T graph because we don't care in this case about numbers below the x-axis. And I'm going to analyze the exponential part. 95 times 0.89 to the x is a decreasing exponential function. So I'm going to draw kind of a generic decreasing exponential function. The initial value or the vertical intercept of this function is 0, 0,95. We want to know where the output for this function is 400 because 400 is bigger than 95 by a substantial amount. This graph is not really going to be to scale here. I'm going to say that the 400 line is about right there. So that would be y equals 400. So the intersection that I'm looking for with the solution is that intersection and I'm looking for the x value that goes with it. That's going to be the solution to my equation. So I'm going to start by making a pretty good guess for the window values for x min, x max, y min and y max based upon what I have drawn here. So I'm going to say window initial. And because I don't really know how far over I need to go here, I'm going to say negative 10 is a good initial estimate for x min. x max is at 10. There's nothing going on over here, so I don't really need a lot of values for x max y min is going to be 0 because that brings me to the bottom of this t that's going to bring me to the x-axis and y max has to be at least as big as the biggest of the initial value and the intersection value so I'm going to say 500 for y max as long as you get something bigger than 400 you're okay so I'm going to go over to my calculator and go to my y equals and I'm going to enter y1 as 400, y2 as 95 times 0.89, and then exponent to the x. So I have my two equations entered there. I'm going to go now to my window, and I'm going to reflect the initial window values that I chose over on the right hand side of the screen. So for y min I'm going to choose 0 and for y max I'm going to choose 500. Alright, now I'm going to press graph and I can see that where I am, see the separation here? I'm probably somewhere here so what I need to do is to make my x min a little bit smaller. So let me try then instead of negative 10, let's try negative 25 and see what we get. And we'll reflect that over in our window chart on the right hand side if it works. So I'm going to press graph again. So there's the 400, there's the intersection. So that looks a little bit more like what I have here. As long as I can see the intersection in the window, then I can ask the calculator to find it. So I'm going to press the second key and then the calculate, which is this blue. So it's the function that goes with CALC there. And I need to go down to number five, which is intersect. The first curve is yes, that's the 400. The second curve is the exponential. There's a guess. And then I press enter again to get my intersection. And if I round that to two decimals, I get negative 12.34. So let's go over here and make some adjustments. 
first of all, I need to clearly indicate that my solution is x equals negative 12.34. If I want to label that on the graph, I could do that right there. And then I need to change that value. We found that negative 25 worked better than negative 10. And my initial window becomes my final window. So you have a process here and once again I really recommend, especially if you're having trouble finding these windows, that you draw your rough sketch and you're gonna be able from the sketch to figure out if your X is on the left side of the Y axis or the right side and if it's above or below your initial value.